Hey, it's Tori, and welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. Marco and Taya finally reunited. What a day in history. This has made me so very happy. You know, they of course were in the same band, which was Nightwish, together a very, very long time ago. And it's so nice to see that they've reconciled their friendship over the past year or so and obviously within the past couple of months they've been touring together and so it makes sense to bring out a song together as well. I've kind of heard like whispers and rumors that they may join forces for good and form their own band or they may just stay separate doing their own thing and work together now and then. I think that's the one that makes more sense to me is because, you know, they are both separate people. Tari has built up a huge solo career. Marco is trying to do the same now you know he's also got his band tarot which i don't know if he's gone back to or if he will go back to so i am just excited i am not going to go into this with any expectations on how it's going to sound because obviously we know them together as symphonic metal from nightwish and that is a completely separate thing they are now their own well, they've always been their own people, but you guys know what I'm getting at. The song we are checking out from them today is called Left on Mars. So without further ado, let's just dive right in and check this song out together. Love those ribs. There was a child climbing a hill on a winter's night. Face up to space above and take him by the side. Time slowed down under the blessing of the skies of dying stars. My goodness i just adore marco's voice it is so unique and i can just pick it out anywhere i love that little bass run he did before he started singing and then of course the run he did with his vocals right here this takes me home it really really does it's it's such a comforting sound I'm very curious how Tari is going to fit into this. So let's continue. Stars and their billion years of life. Billion years of life. I flew across the void of space in a waking dream. A stride of fish and flesh. Do I feel a little bit ridiculous now because this is making me tear up? A little bit, but also we fans of both Marco and Toria and missing their voices together, hearing this, is like pure magic. It is so phenomenal. And it brings back so much nostalgia of me discovering them both and falling in love with them both. They're both such huge inspirations for me. They've been in throughout my life since I was a teen. So I love this. I love it.
it's such a perfect song for their voices and something different from what people go in expecting something from Marco and Tyre, which is why I tried not to go in with any previous expectations. And I'm glad they're doing something new and something fresh. Their voices just have always meshed so well together. I mean, Marco can sing with absolutely anybody. We know this. <laughs> and I'm so jealous of the people that are getting to see them live together right now. I need them both to come to the US together and perform together. I don't care where it, where it, it would be in the US. I will fly because I need to, I need to meet them both. I need to let them know how much they have helped me throughout my life. <laughs> I, uh, it's like home. It really is. I love that tone on the guitar. <laughs> I love how it's very sci-fi sounding. Oh, my little beating heart is so very happy right now. I I feel a little overwhelmed with my emotions just because obviously as a longtime Nightwish fan and also a fan of, of Taria and Marco both in their perspective solo careers, I just never dreamed. Well, I did dream that it, the, the, the day would come, but I just never thought that it would happen. And here we are. And I love how the song sounds fresh, but it still has those hints of nostalgia from like the late 80s, early 90s thrown in it. The synths and the guitar, the tone on both of those, very sci-fi-ish that fit with the theme of the song. <sighs> I needed this. I'm so glad that they managed to put whatever has happened in the past and come together and work things out and become friends again. It's it's so nice to see. So yeah, I <laughs> as I said, I need them both to come to the USA. I I need that tour over here. Will it happen? I have no idea. But I just I need to see them both at least once in my life. <laughs> but don't forget to like and subscribe to become a Torian. Speaking of becoming a Torian, all of my social media links and my Discord link are down in the description. We'd absolutely love to have you come hang out in the Discord community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on.